<laughs> no. <laughs> we last time we probably had the same thing. <laughs> probably, yeah. It's been a while, a few years. Mm-hmm. What did you do last time? Um, last time we were talking about Star Forcing, and that was right before I took a large break from the game because mm -hmm. it was impacting mental health. Okay. Um, well, not okay. And basically, I just had like an itch to come back to the game. Don't know why. Um, I realized that part of the reason was Pathfinder was sucking my soul out of the game. I did not enjoy the class. Mm -hmm. um, it was very easy to farm on, but it was just hurt everything mm -hmm. after. Um, but um, yeah, other than that, it's been finding my love for the game again and uh, starting now on Bowmaster. So. Yeah, so you did the job change thingy. What level did you come back to? So I job changed at the end of Moment Tree. Mm -hmm. on a... And the character was uh, 232. Mm -hmm. And so since then, I am now 250. So Okay. And did you use the hyper burn on this guy, or use another? No, guy? this was this was not. I made a I made a uh, boss meal with the hyper burn. Okay, cool. So you're looking at your account in that way already, like boss meals here, yeah. main character there. All right. Well, you've seen a lot of my stuff in the past, and you've been here again for a bit now. Um, yeah. So what's the uh, what can I do you for? So my general questions come from next steps moving towards arcanes. So mm -hmm. um, if you scroll down through the photos, mm -hmm. uh, I believe one of them I have is my inventory, which I don't know if it's 100% accurate. Uh, that one would go up a little. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, backups you mean? Yeah. Yeah. So I have 250 droplets and 25 of the lucid ones. So I have essentially 25 coins. Mm -hmm. um, this week... However, was the first week I got a hard lucid clear, like fully contributing damage, mm -hmm. able to clear. Nice. Um, I'm wondering if it makes sense to stay with what I have, because what I have can do that currently. Mm -hmm. um, and slowly make my upgrades as I get boxes or drops or whatever. I don't really care about pitch boss at the moment. Um, mm -hmm. Pitch boss would be great, but I mean, I don't. I don't farm a ton, so I don't get a ton of money, so I wouldn't be able to make great um, progress on it. Yeah, you wouldn't have the money uh, to upgrade them in the first place, so they just sit exactly. in your inventory even if you did get them. Yeah, uh -huh. and so basically what I'm wondering is, with what I have, where should I put my focus into in the coming up? Like, with things coming up. Mm -hmm. I know one of the big things I need to do is I need to reroll my emblem, because my emblem is a... Kind of a, a little bit of a meme at the moment, but yeah, um, not that good. From from there, it's uh, pretty much trying to figure stuff out. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that's a bit of a meme. I've got one uh, one of those myself somewhere on a boss meal. <laughs> yeah, um, I before I respect all of my um, legion, I had ninety six percent IED. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Yeah, that seems reasonable with a emblem like that. I'll do the trick. Yeah. But you'd have to. So when you job change, all you did was weapon and secondary. That's it. And then you're, you're yeah, all your notes and everything, had, of course. But all I do is weapon, secondary, and notes. Yeah. So not all my nodes are maxed, but um, this character is much, 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 much stronger than the Pathfinder ever was. Mm -hmm. About three or four times now. Okay, well, that's. Uh, I'm happy that <laughs> you you uh, made that switch for yourself. Then you're not stuck there anymore. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't understand Pathfinder either. I could never really play it. Yeah. My mom got it to 280 somehow, and then her Bowmaster <laughs> is now almost 280 as well. So yeah, she likes the archers. We're not talking about the uh, the face and eye. Those are just there for yeah. reasons. Well, those are like old. You know? Yeah. Like, th it's like four years ago stuff, right? Yeah, those are. Um, the reason I'm using Dominator is it's just better than my other pendant, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then, I mean, even if you do get something else better, then you can always just transfer hammer this one into the superior and immediately have 20 star superior. Exactly, that was my thought. So. That was a follow-up for it. 
I basically 21 starred that one and then I tried to 21 star another and I boomed my three spares that I had with mm -hmm. trying to do that. So Yeah, that sounds like what dominators you like to do. <laughs> yeah. Um Yes. Uh Sorkins. Yeah, so the main question you're at almost 30k and your hard lucid run that seems to be going well and you guys can clear in a decent amount of time you're not really like struggling for time or anything yeah no we had i believe we had 15 minutes left when uh, we procced p3 mm -hmm. and then um yeah we just had it timed right so it was fine mm -hmm. p3 was nowhere near close yeah uh, i think we had like uh 10 to 7 seconds left. So, like, it was close, yep. but not super close. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Yeah, and, and so training-wise, you're able to kill properly with drop key run yep. and stuff? No I can clear... I can one-shot up to Labyrinth at the moment. So... Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I've that's... been finding most of my time... I do enjoy farming Void Current 3. Uh, big surprise there. Um, mm -hmm. But... <laughs> Uh, VC3 or Labyrinth, I believe Interior 6 is another really good map. I like both those. Okay. So. Yeah, as long as you're not, uh, so, so, I guess to, to your question, um, as long as you are able to do the stuff around your level and there's no real pressure for you needing to upgrade, then you know you can just wait it out and see if you get a drop in the next bunch of weeks. If you do keep leveling pretty quickly, and you want to start, you know, moving into hard will as well. And you want to maybe start doing like Tenebra stuff. If you want to go, um, if, if you attempted stuff like soloing hard Lotus, hard Damien. Um, I've attempted hard Lotus a few times. I get typically through about I either make it out of P1 just fine. And then just run out of time in P3 or I die out. Because I don't kill P1 fast enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so. one of, you know you're in that situation where you kind of have to just burst P1 to get out of it. Yeah. And then P2 is it's pretty either... simple, but P3 takes forever. Yeah, it's either lasers are easy or lasers are lasers. Smiley face. <laughs> yeah, they're like the the thing where they just like snap back like every half rotation or like every quarter rotation they just snap back an inch just to yeah. make sure that if you get too close to it that you get punished. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, of course, right? There's only so many sense? so many stacks your mirages have <laughs> to, to save you from those. <laughs> I, can, I can only tank two of those ticks. Yeah. <laughs> and then the other hard part I find in P3 is just the like trying to avoid getting chain stunned by falling debris. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot falling. Yeah, but I found it's like I can survive for long periods of time. It's just like one small mistake ends to mm -hmm. a larger mistake, which ends up with you dead. So it's just trying to prevent those from happening. Yeah, if you're not going to get hit by something, sometimes it's better to just flash jump away into something. Then at least you yeah. get stunned further away from the boss, so then hopefully by the time he gets to you, you've already gotten unstunned again. But yeah, if you get chained, it's kind of yeah. it's kind of GG most of the time. Um, yeah. and that's the real question, I guess, right? Like, if you're trying to progress through those bosses as well in a reasonable amount of time, then of course an arcane weapon will bring that a lot closer. Um, so that's where you would more so than, you know, the move to arcanes, it would still ma make it so that you maintain kind of velocity and progression through the whole game. If you can get to hard Lotus and hard Damien and then maybe normal gloom, you know, like, you, and then normal Viela, like you get to those bosses a little bit, uh, a little bit faster, but yeah, you, you could I, set a time. Um... Uh, what I would do probably is just set a time for myself. Be like, okay, if I don't get one in the next like six runs or something, I'll just buy it. Something like that. Okay. I was gonna say I've done normal gloom. Um, there was just a party that was I found that was running that I got in on, and um, mm -hmm. they were like they didn't have a minimum requirement. I I was probably way under the requirement needed for it, but I just joined in, and they're like, "All right, we're running it. Just don't die out." And it was like, mm -hmm. "Uh, okay, all right, I guess." So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chaos gloom is uh, um, on another level, but yeah, normal gloom is it's it's good to practice, but um. It's also good to get into those bosses like Gloom and Darknell and kind of just try to survive there, which is way harder. Because I think yeah. after that, you go back to Hard Lotus. Comparatively, Hard Lotus will start feeling easier and easier. Partially yeah. practice, but also partially just... Like like I said, with uh, what I had was with, like with Black Mage, P3, like you basically dial it up to a 12 in terms of difficulty. Yeah. And then, you know, you die out a lot, but then... 
you go back to Hard Lotus and suddenly you don't really notice that you're making a lot of progress on Black Mage, but then you go back to Hard Lotus and you like you notice that you made a lot of progress because suddenly that boss is like super simple and there's like nothing going on. So like by yeah. comparison, it's good to yeah kind of keep practicing other bosses as well. Yeah, I was um I mean I only started soloing uh, Normal Lotus after I switched to uh, Bowmaster. Mm -hmm. I found with Pathfinder I just couldn't get the amount of damage i needed mm -hmm. but then just the consistent long dps that bowmaster has i'm able i was able to and then after it was really after shining where's where i was like okay i'm gonna try some stuff that like i probably can't do and that was like where i did my first build clear mm -hmm. and like stuff like that yep. so. <laughs> and you're like oh maybe i can yeah <laughs> yeah you ever see that um i think it was was it the second or the third band i don't remember but like when uh dookie was playing his shadower i think he got like carried by someone he got carried by a by a pathfinder just in hard lotus yeah a, a hard lucid sorry and uh like everything went wrong like some skills expired and they were like off timing a little bit but the guy was like super duper strong so it shouldn't be an issue but then as soon as he throws down his big tornado uh like the oh, platform no. got broken and the tornado just like rolled down and he just couldn't oh. kill it because it's just all the damage was just gone <laughs> Oh, this, that hurts. Uh, this guy oh, had, like, insane hurts. stats. And it's, like, no oh. character of those stats should ever, like, struggle with that. But it was just, like, oh, Tornado is gone. It's, like, you just can't do it anymore. So, like, a class that has such a single point of failure that, yeah, that just never feels good. <laughs> yeah. That, the thing, that was my biggest thing with Pathfinder is it just felt like it was a class that they made entirely for mobbing. And it was, they were, like, trying to do the archers some good and be, like, okay... Archers have very linear mobbing, mm -hmm. marksman, wind archer, like really until Kane and and uh, Merc yeah. like even I you would mean like horizontal is, specifically, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah. all hor it's all horizontal. Mm -hmm. Like Mercedes was the first one that really had anything vertical, and even then it's what leaf tornado, which is horizontal yeah. still technically. And the hyperscale, um, I think, like the pink one is kind of yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Raph, is it Raph? Is that the one that I'm thinking of? Uh, I don't know the names. Of I don't know. Mercedes but skills, they're sorry. so linear, but they were just like, we need to, we need to make, you know, it more vertical, and that was what mm -hmm. they did with Pathfinder. But in doing that, they were like, what if it did all these cool things and played around with the gauge and like three different forms? Mm -hmm. But yeah, they had to that, dial that back it, a lot with like the switching and the the modes and the. Well, they just made it so much harder to decide what form you're in mm -hmm. because. You're attacking with an in-game macro like the entire time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was trying to help my mom with it, and she's like, "Well, but then I don't know which form I'm in, and I have to press the button first, and then do the other thing, and it's like an extra move for her, and then she has to look at her keyboard where that form is, and then she's already dead. Like, there's just so much extra stuff there going on. But yeah, we're gonna yeah. have to go through her uh, Pathfinder and kind of just like clean up her key configuration. We did that for the for the bow monster, kind of like try to organize yeah. like where's your you know, 90 second burst, where's your two minute burst, where's your three minute skills, and then put them next to each other and put the attacking skills in good spots and everything. And, um, yeah, she did say that she, that she could play the Bowmaster way better now. And that's why her, her Culver score was like overtaking the Pathfinder and everything. But we, we should probably do that for the Pathfinder as well, just to, to clean it up. Yeah. I, yeah, uh, there's I probably a bunch of, you know, cool stuff that Pathfinder can do. Just, I just, I've never seen it or, yeah. I don't know. Everyone. Like being able to Pathfinder P1 Lotus was never a problem because you can just torrent right through the laser. Yeah. Well, not in the beginning, right? A, it was like not in the beginning, you know, but no. after a little bit. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's cool. I mean, you um, could as yeah. long as you didn't like hit it in the middle or something, but you had to hit it in like the first twenty percent or the last twenty percent of the dash, which you know <laughs> that's the yeah. risky area. Which, let's be honest, is a teleport in this game. So mm -hmm. we we all know exactly how far that's going to go, right? Yep. Right into uh, a tombstone falling from the sky. <laughs> so, the okay, but the Bowmaster is feeling way better. Progressing. Bowmaster feels good. Yeah. So, um, I, I want would say, so, to be a... Sorry, go for it. I was just going to say, I, will, I want to, by the end of Savior, be able to solo H. Lomian. Or try to solo H. Lomian. Uh huh. Is like my overall goal. Yeah. So right now you've uh, tried hard Lotus and you died out. Like, do, do do you remember how far you got him? Like, how much percent left HP? 
Um, when I was soloing, I think I got him about. I think I got him down to died out about sixty percent on P three, mm-hmm. and then if I time out, I think the one time I timed out, it was down to like, uh, like forty five percent P three. Mhm. There's still got to be a lot of cleaning up. Yeah, I mean, there's people who clear it at like some absurdly low stats. Most of my characters, I only really started running the boss once I got closer to like 40k stat, just because of how much time it took. But that's also, yeah, because of how many characters I have and, you know, taking on all of that extra time and all of the extra bossing on all those extra characters. I don't like to mm-hmm. scale up uh, too quickly for that. But if you just have one main character, yeah, somewhere between now and like 35k stat or something, should be definitely when, when you get your first clear, but then you'll see it speed up a lot as you make big ass upgrades and yeah. especially arcane stuff will i noticed the difference because i had like 20 star abzos on the marksman and then yeah but then moving from there to like 17 star arcanes which or or like some 19 19 arcanes which isn't like a huge upgrade like it seems but that did speed it up quite a bit i did i think i did the math and it's like if i have a 17 star arcane weapon it's like 150 more attack if not more oh yeah yeah your current flame is, isn't uh isn't like the highest and then the tier on arcane is just so much higher and the base yeah. is so much higher yeah yeah you have to get a nice potential because you have that right now so you'll have to find something to, to cover that with but yeah the total amount of attack yeah you get like close to 500 attack i think and if it's just like a tier six with 17 stars that sounds yeah. about right okay so I'll stick with what I have then for now, mm-hmm. and I think... Yeah, I would just put an ultimatum, either... like, see how much patience you have, or you see another event, maybe another 5, 10, 15, or 30% off coming your way, and be like, I could save a decent amount of money here. Uh, yeah. Or, like, you know, I really like the Hard Lotus and Hard Damien. Like, I feel like the practice is getting better, but I just, I'm in that boss too long, and I just want to speed that up. And then, you know... Because, you know, worst case, is, worst, worst case scenario is that you get a box right after that but then you just have a backup for the next event to try to go for 19 right or 20 yeah something yeah. like that mm-hmm. yeah i go okay like i go if i have at least like one or two backups i go for 19 on characters if they're like 250 or higher um and there's so far two characters i went for 21 but that's because you know i went for like 275 plus and i had like seven weapons or something so i'm like yeah fuck it let's just you know let's go on a tapping journey <laughs> see if we yeah, get some let's... stars in this Let's get on the rabbit hole and see where we end up. Yeah, I mean, both went pretty decently, but yeah. Yeah. It could, could have been just as well yeah. that you blow up like five or six of them and you get just right back to 18 or 19. And then, you know, I don't know. At least you exactly. clean up your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my Silver gosh, linings. there's so many more slots in my inventory. Weird. I mean, it's actually a, a thing. Like last Shining, I was like, I don't really need any upgrades on this character, but I want to clean up my inventory. So I'm just going to start <laughs> tapping some stuff and just make some upgrades. Gotcha. So backups. Yeah, so, I mean, you'll probably get an armor box before you get a weapon, and then you might be like, you know, if you were like two or three set already, you could be like, okay, yeah. well, I'm just going to get the weapon because big set bonus and all of the weapon attack. Yeah. I've been patient long enough, so that'll be um, up to you. But yeah. If I do get an armor box, what mm-hmm. order do you think I should go in in that retrospect? Um, all of my abso's are like 21%. And most of them have uh, like sick, like a decent flame, not a great flame, but a decent flame. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like eighty-ish. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So most classes, ideally, they go for uh, the gloves first, so you can start. If it, there's ever a cube sale, you start going for double critical damage. Yeah. Um, now, technically, I think end game for archers. Double crit damage is nice, but if you hit crit damage with like 23 decks, that ends up being better eventually. Yeah, so just two line decks with crit damage can- is is better eventually, but if you hit two line crit, it's worth keeping as well. Yeah, basically. But yeah, if okay. you hit more decks, of course, you can stat flex, so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Don't underestimate the stat flex. I mean, stat flex is huge. Eventually, that's end game is the stat flex, so. That's why you get the extra emblem, right? So you can <laughs> roll for stat, <laughs> flex the hell yeah. out of it. I mean, that's why I have a second sep- secondary because that one's two line attack, and I'm like, 
Mm -hmm. I'm getting all of these cubes I can't use. I might as well just have something to dump them on. Yeah, make a 30% dex one, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, I'd probably do glove first, and then after that, really doesn't matter. It's all pretty equal, so. Okay. Yep, I'll pretty much the same. Um, the other main thing, like, besides that is going to be getting, like, fodder for your superiors, right? And, uh, trying yep. to get slime rings. So, the other thing will be, like, you do keep doing normal slime. Does your party, if it goes towards hard will as well, does it start adding, like, sea slime into it? Do you get, like, a ring rotation there? Or does everyone just blow up normal and pray? Because drop rate from normal is pretty bad. I just got one today, but I think that's the first one in... I think I got two rings in the last three months while running on seven characters every week, so... I mean, I, um... I Not just great. normally solo end slime because mm -hmm. I just want the meso from it. Right. Um, the hard party was literally just one I found in the, uh, the party finder and just applied for, so... Uh, I see. Okay, okay. So you don't have a static, uh, at this time. No, it's not a static party. It's just, like, a, I try to find... It's honestly how I run most of my stuff. It's hard to find mm -hmm. static parties that want to run that stuff because most of the people just want to get you know what through it so yep 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 yeah <laughs> the word <laughs> the c word <laughs> the bad c word no it, it is true i really hope that with the changes after savior you know people will be like Rrr, people will be moping initially but i hope that it creates a more nurturing environment for people trying to you know do stuff together and yeah. i'll it could be like just the thing it needs to just tilt the scales towards getting um, getting way more people in the boss menu. And then when there are more people in the boss menu, then people tend to use it more. And then, you know, it just becomes a normal way of, of, of finding parties. And then hopefully, you know, that <laughs> that creates a, a shorter waiting times and all that. So Yeah. And then I think with doing that, it'll make... Um... I think people actually realize that, hey, we can clear some of these bosses at lower yeah. stats. Yeah, part like of that, that I think is Nexon's fault with the levels not making any sense. Yeah. Like you're level 210 or 220 and then you have to fight a boss that's like level 190 that is accessible at level 180 that drops equips for level 150. And you, as a new player, you're just like, well, I must be just missing something because I don't understand how, like, I can't yeah. kill this boss. It's 30 levels below me. The equips are 80 levels below me. Like, how can I not, you know, I must be just so bad at this game. So please do yeah. it for me. I I can see how people would come to that conclusion, you know. I think one of the other things that um has come of that is the, the Gallic situation, which mm -hmm. is getting out of hand with... Uh, I mean, like, I'll always be like, I'll always offer coin runs to people because it's just like, I have, I'm just looking for superiors or whatever. Mm -hmm. And so, like two belts, I just think that... no earrings right now. Some reinforced earrings, I see. Yeah. What do we got? Like four belts. Oh, there's some up here as well. Nice. Yeah. I had a bunch of belt, a bunch of, uh, it's always like that. It's all belts fires. and then no earrings. I don't know. Yeah. All of my characters. My current belt is 20. Um, I was doing, uh, it was during Shining, and I was, like, kind of running out of money, and mm -hmm. I just, like, threw the belt in there and sent it. It went 20, failed 21 twice, and ran out of money. Okay, yeah. She yeah. just said I did 21 pink bean belt, and then I transferred it over, and then I didn't want to risk yeah. it anymore, you know? So. <laughs> no, I That's just, a, I broke. Yeah, no, you, okay. Well, yeah, honestly, if you have four backups, it's it makes sense to just tap it on the thing itself and just see if it goes, because that can save you quite yeah. a bit of money. No having to redo the pot, plus not having to lose a star transferring, so that makes sense. Yeah. The other fodder, yeah, reinforced. Yeah, the whole ring ring situation is always just a little bit awkward. Uh, I don't know if you caught up on, like, Oz and stuff, What what's going to happen with all of that? Yes, I'm aware of the Oz changes, and I am excited for the Oz changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, so. apparently it will take still quite a while to get, like, the... The row fours and weapon jump fours, but the three rings will be quite more reasonable to obtain. Listen, I, I'm um, I'm I'm okay with that. I just don't want to go anywhere yeah. near that tower. Okay? <laughs> I've I have some I have some horrible memories from that tower. Oh, you tried it a little bit, yeah. <laughs> so. I uh, I used to run on um, a character with a friend, but I just once I started trying to do it alone, I was like, yeah, I'm I'm good. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, you could kind of increase it, and then you're doing the same runs over and over, and then you just never get anything. It's like, uh, you know, you open like 10 yeah. boxes, and you get one flame, and it's like the best reward. You're like, okay. Well, <laughs> like, cool. not the I most productive spend... use of my time. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes 10 hours. Yeah, lovely. Uh, uh, but, okay. you know, for droplets, you can you can buy them at any time, right? The the yeah. area ones, so that's really no longer a bottleneck. Although it is very expensive to do that. It's like five and a half bill or something, right? For just an armor and double yeah. that for the weapon. So yeah, those boxes are some big value. But yeah, the reason I was saying like looking towards the other bosses as well is the Tenebris and stuff in Chaos Tenebris all can drop the boxes as well. So then you can get the the amount of uh, weekly chances can still increase quite a bit. Yeah, and that's where I guess uh, like my progression wants to go is I, I, I do enjoy this game and I do enjoy the difficulty of the bosses and stuff and mm -hmm. I want to kind of start experiencing more and more of the bosses. Because mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know what it is but there is no other like game that can compare to the bossing in this game and I don't know why. Oh, sorry. What did you say? I just read something. <laughs> oh no, yeah. I was just saying. There's no. There's no other. There's like I've played a bunch of different like MMOs and stuff, mm -hmm. and there's no other like end game bossing level compared to this game. I don't know why. Just it feels so much different, and like I just like it more. So. Mhm. Mm I think it's because this game looks two dimensional and is actually two dimensional, and other games look three-dimensional but they're basically two-dimensional because nobody goes yeah. underground or up in the air really everyone just walks around in a an xy plane or an xz plane whatever so yeah. i feel like but there's a lot more aerial play now in in maple story where you need to you know like fly up stay in the air you know you've got your teleport yeah, I gotta, your uh i gotta figure out my keybinds mm -hmm. and figure out how to fix my blink scenario yeah so i can actually run it <laughs> yeah you're in that s situation now where blink is starting to get more and more and more useful and the like the um, urda's will you probably want to start saving that one up and start leveling that yeah. one that one will you'll you'll see more and more uses for it in a lot of different situations got it is your um is your matrix set up to have like mobbing and bossing skills split up uh no i didn't have the most amount of nodes when i switched so mm -hmm. it was kind of just whatever was available on whatever i see but that is all that's all six of the skills so mm -hmm. with uh it being gritty gust instead of phoenix yeah yeah it says your phoenix or gritty gust i guess it just depends on your play style, what you're feeling like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I would, just, I would I would say grab the uh, Urda Wills and start leveling that as well once you get them. Okay. You can uh, like on lower level characters, one of the easy, the things you can do is you know you can like use it and jump through like a sea clown or something without getting sealed. You can um, use it whenever you're timer runs out in CPAP and you have like a big timer on it you can just not get sealed you know by that as well you can just cancel yeah. that out but um I mean a good one is um I don't think you could look at uh, no you can't really use it on on Damien very much um I guess technically I think if you use it you don't get like stunned by those grabby hands that's fair yeah you don't DDR mm -hmm. but it's mostly for Tenebrous stuff, right? Like gloom, like the orbs, you don't get sealed, cursed, yeah. blinded, dark nail, you can jump through things and not die. And then for black mage, it's extremely useful, so. Gotcha. It's good that also, you know, start making some room on the keyboard for that, just to <laughs> have a have a go-to spot for, it, for, uh, for using it. Oh, yeah. I have to Is start doing that later as well, the, the, yeah, the blink and the... And the will, and it's like, damn, where do I even put this shit? Like, it's it's so full. <laughs> my key, my keyboard has no room for anything at the moment, so mm -hmm. I will have to figure that out. Um, Plus, my key lines are just a hot mess as it is. So, 
Yeah, it might be a good I idea like, to just draw, like pull a whole bunch of stuff off of it and just kind of start fresh. Yeah. Kind of see where your hands go automatically and then kind of like build around that. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I'm so stuck in the old Control shift z alt ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, I feel that, yeah. When I really just, just to, like, pinky... Put everything near it. Pinky left and... I don't know, like, ring finger. And then open it up a little bit more to the middle of the keyboard, I guess. Yeah. A little bit more to the top, a little bit more to the right. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can send you a screenshot of current binds so you can see kind of what I'm working with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're basically going to be in the area of just dailies and weeklies in terms of just trying to get backups and then probably, yeah, alongside the mains building out more and more bossing wheels to bring up your your money so you're not too reliant on on whether you're putting in the hours grinding on the main or not. But you yeah. get more like static in well not static, because you have to <laughs> you have to go in there every week and play for a little bit. But if you play for half an hour you could get a boss meal to make like a bill a week or something pretty quickly. Yep. And I have a, I mean, so I have my Buccaneer and my Dawn Warrior that I do. On the Dawn Warrior, I do up to like two or three man Lomian. And then on the Buccaneer, it's just uh, three door uh, three door plus Vellum. Mm -hmm. Plus sometimes a catchy if I feel like running it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a bit more annoying um, if you can't just blow it up. I I don't even bother with Pino on either of those characters. I just don't. The mm -hmm. time investment. Yeah, I know. That uh, doesn't make sense. It makes almost more sense to just start making another character and just run CRA on there. It's just yeah. more money and less time, yeah. Um, I sent you the photo of the keybinds over Discord, so. Gotcha. You can relish in the disgust. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what I ended up doing was just freeing up a lot of stuff that's like in the in the top leftish of the keyboard and just get rid of that. Um, yeah. But like one like after one. one after the other, so not yeah. all in one go. Gotcha. Yeah, I try to do um, burst as F eight through F twelve, like that's like the latest keys I hit. So it's F eight through F twelve in that order, mm -hmm. and then like obviously F eleven is bind. Um, and then... But if you're doing F8 through F12, you've got to have one hand way up there, right? So either you can't move left to right or you can't jump. Yeah, so... So that's that's uh, that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I, I do realize that, mm -hmm. so... So my setup is, is like this. Um, so I've moved a lot of the, the general, like, buffing for the cooldown stuff that's in the same spot, right? That's, like, on the top right. And then mm -hmm. the bottom left, so most of the function keys here are gone. Cash shop, all of the chats I moved to the other side. Mm -hmm. So I still have them, but that cleans up the one through five. Usually I put like a will skill on the top left and then the more boost, so like terms and conditions, overdrive, like those that use like every 75 to 90 seconds or something on the right. And then if I don't have auto buff, I put decent skills here. Uh, and I do have, if I do have auto buff, I just put whatever is extra, but usually buffs up there. And then the movement is usually on the bottom row. And then all of the main skills I use the most are in the middle row. And then yeah. the ones that I have a little bit longer cooldown are in the on the top row kind of thing. But it's good between characters to have similar function keys in similar spots so that it's very easy to switch without, you know, your hand having to like fight your brain all the time. So I'll, I yeah. put my where you have like your F F F eight through F twelve. That's where I usually put my toggles. Yeah, I should probably swap my toggles with the burst keys up there, because mm -hmm. even if it's even if it's uh, like five through zero or whatever, mm -hmm. I can still reach that better than up in the F F keys. Yeah, it's just um, closer, right? And you maybe can even still keep your thumb on Alt or something while you're pressing them. So if you have to flash yeah. jump, you can still kind of in a pinch. Or stuff that you switch not very often, like the, I don't know, like the familiars or something. That can be in a key that's pretty far away. Because you're pressing it yeah. usually in, in non, you're right before you enter a boss or like before you're opening a box. So not really in any dangerous scenario. So that's usually why I think about it. Like where do I use this skill? Like the frequency and the location of using the skill. Yeah. 
and then those are just put out of the way where I can't even accidentally hit them. They're just like completely out of the way. And then where I, the ones that I do want to hit re uh, like regularly, like how often do you open? World map for me was a hard one to get rid of because I had always had that on W. So that took a long time yeah. for me, but it's such a pivotal key. Like my stats, I moved to F9, I think like a, a while ago. And that opens up so much on the left side. Even if it's just yeah. two or three skills like Q, W and S, like if you put three main skills there instead of like somewhere else, uh, I feel like it balances out so much more where everything is on the keyboard. Like you got your right hand, you got the arrow keys, and then the the bursting essentially, and then your left hand's got the jumping and and the other skills. Yeah, I do. Um, I do like consistency wise, like V matrix skills, like the active skills always go insert home, delete, end. I always put those there just because that's where I know they are. Mm -hmm. Um. Hurricane skills or bossing skills go on control, mobbing skills on shift. A, I typically either use as an iframe or a movement ability. So, like, on. If I was playing a hero, that would be one of the exceptions where I would probably take it off delete and put World Reaver on uh, A. Because mm -hmm. if I want a quick um, iframe, then I have it there. Yeah, I have a similar thing. Uh, I used to have my main attack, like my uh, attack on control. But then if you have like a jump attack character, for me, it would squeeze my pinky and my thumb too close together. And that would okay. like kind of cramp my hand. So instead I went for A, because then I have my thumb and my middle finger is like a more relaxed distance. So I can do that for a longer period of time. So it's possible that you, you know, switch things around and that like, you know, you train an hour and your hand just physically hurts and you just have to move stuff around. But it's best to then yeah. just immediately move it around and just try something else rather than, you know, because the longer you sit on, on a new thing that's also not perfect, the more your muscle memory just starts getting, <laughs> go, you know, going all over the place. That's how I, I got to like the arc in the beginning. I must have moved my keys around like 15 times until finally, it, you know, it just fit like it made sense and i could pl play like that for a while without like getting my hand to hurt in any kind of way and then the class got a lot more fun because you know it just became automatic okay gotcha yeah i'm gonna mess around with keybinds probably today then and mm -hmm. uh see what i can fix in those so yeah and yeah i haven't been on the class for that long right so you're still figuring out like where do i use it when do you use it yeah, it's only been two months. I've got... I, I understand, like, when I'm popping burst, what I hit in what order in that sense. Mm -hmm. It's the hardest part has become finding a method that is uh, convenient and comfortable. Of yes. Getting those skills hit, so... Sure, yeah. Yeah, for my mom, we just looked at the duration of all the skills and just try to put them together so you could do, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, something like that. That it just... Yeah. Uh, when they're next to each other... Because for her, mainly the big problem was knowing where the keys are. She would always have to look at the keyboard. But if you have like three clumps of three keys, then you just only need to look three times. And then you just can just press them in a row without looking at them. So that sped it up a lot for her. Because there's quite a lot of buttons for you to press for your burst, right? Yeah. The ones like Fury of the Wild and uh, Will Scale, that's where I always keep those. So I just, those two in general, I know where they are. So mm -hmm. the only times I look down is when I'm hitting the like... Storm of Arrows, Quiver Barrage, and Inhuman Speed, and then mm -hmm. it's a reset, and typically I'm looking up to make sure there's nothing coming at me, and then it's yeah. uh, World God Blessing, Concentration, Vicious Shot, Bind, Terms and Conditions, yep. Press the Burst. Yeah, there's some keys, so. I know, it doesn't work for me, but there's some keys that have like indents on the keyboard, right, so you can feel them. For the, yeah. The F and I, the J, I think, you yeah. know, so that, I think you're supposed to have your index fingers on those, but, or... yeah. I don't know. <laughs> that doesn't shit doesn't work for me. <laughs> I type with like five fingers, just index, yeah. uh, index middle finger, and then thumb on spacebar. That's basically it. <laughs> Sometimes I s slam a pinky on the side, but you know. Yeah. It. Yeah, and it, it's definitely one of those things that I feel like, regardless of what you choose and what you want for your keybinds, there's always someone who's always like, "Well, I do this, and this is better, and this is so." Yeah, but it's just you know hand size. Like reflexive, of, uh, like levels of your tendons, you know, whatever your relaxed hands shape is, size of your keys, you know, shape of your keyboard. Like, there's so many factors. Nobody's keyboard looks exactly like this layout with exactly this distance yeah. and has like a standard normal hand, you know. So, you can argue about that a lot, but it's like arguing about like whether you think, 
like beef tacos are better than you know chicken tacos or something you know some <laughs> you have different taste buds so different shit is just gonna resonate with you differently yeah so okay cool i think that was really helpful because i i the main thing i was struggling with was do i buy the weapon or mm -hmm. do i just keep running pray for a drop and then see where what i need from there so yeah, if you don't need the damage, I guess for you and for everyone uh, checking out later as well, like if you don't need the damage, it's totally up to your patience. I, you know, if you just don't have the patience for it, just buy the weapon. You won't regret it. It's a huge upgrade. And if you, like we said, if you do get another weapon, you can always just have a backup. Um, but if you're more patient, then you can save a lot of resources by waiting for a drop. But I would always set an ultimatum of like, okay, I'm going to give myself four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, eight weeks, yeah. whatever. Uh, and then if you don't get it by then, then just buy it because at that point you will have earned it and you don't want it to, the drop to come so late that it's like, well, now, you know, like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's like, I'm t where it doesn't feel good anymore because it's, then it's like, <laughs> well, I should have gotten it like 10 weeks ago, you know, then you'll never really be truly happy with the thing. You'll be like, yeah, oh, you finally, it, <laughs> you don't want it to be so late where it's like you finally get it and you're like, you have to upgrade it incredibly fast because you're getting ready for bm or something. yeah like you have to tap it now yeah yeah exactly because tomorrow's run needs yeah or like you yeah. need to you need, to, you need to buy it because otherwise you know there's nothing else you can upgrade that doesn't cost you like hundreds of billions yeah wasn't there uh wasn't there a guy who had a bm clear on full 22 abzos oh like, probably that's definitely possible act yeah. i like actively partaking in like i can't remember i i thought i saw a post about it or something like that it's very possible. 22 so. Abzos is insanely strong. Like, that's yeah. stronger than 19 Arcanes, which is better than, like, 98% of the players in the game have. Yeah. But, you know, 22 tapping is, is risque. I went for 20, <laughs> uh, 20 Abzos on the Marksman and on the Hero, so just, like, 21 fodder, level 150 stuff, transfer into 20, uh, 20 Abzo. And, I mean, that's faster uh stronger and easier to get than than 17 star arcanes but if you're planning yeah. to get your arcanes past 17 eventually then you know you can just skip that whole thing and just go straight up for the arcanes and that was my thought is i don't make as much money as a lot of the other people do so mm -hmm. being efficient with upgrades is important because yep. i don't have i don't have 20 boss mules mm -hmm. i have three so have three, yeah well we all gotta start somewhere you've got the 21 arc uh 21 uh, cra already so that's yeah. that's good that's solid uh next thing is just gonna you know whenever you do have an event like a 5 10, 15 or a shining you just look at whatever you know is the lowest risk of, of failing to be an upgrade hopefully you get like kind of treasurings tend to be high up on the list and then you know if yeah. you have a lot of superior drops of one kind like the belt then that pushes itself a little bit forward on the list but yeah. um yeah you just you just gate it in terms of you know, coins and backups. You've got some Galax coins, and I think you've got some old Galax coins you can exchange, right? You're doing that? Yeah, I've I've finished exchanging those, and that okay. number isn't 100% uh, accurate. I'll tell you how much I have right now. Uh, 1,745. Oh, yeah, so is this the, the 132 here? Those are coins that you It's now a 32, so... Yeah, okay, I see, I see. Yeah, I have so. some characters that the whole time have been, like... Well, forgetting to exchange a lot, but like, uh, still have coins left from <laughs> from the old systems, but already have full twenty two superior at this point, so it's almost not necessary anymore. Yeah. But uh, you know, it, it, the thing is just like with kind of treasures and like with dominators, you can never have too many because of the transferring not just to superior, but then one higher to source of suffering and to slime ring, right? So yeah. Even if, if you're done one with one, you can for. just keep going. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking for a slime like, slime ring for a little bit. I've been mm -hmm. in. I've seen, we've, <laughs> in the times I've done random parties, we've had one drop and it did not. I did not get it. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the um, the drop rate is is just low. Um, and I have I have three hundred and eighteen drop rate. So mm -hmm. that's good. I'm I'm sure it shouldn't be too long until another one drops, right? Right. <laughs> sure. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I had a lucky week once where I ran on three characters and all three got one. And then I gotcha. think, you know, and then I think it was two and a half months until I saw another one <laughs> <laughs> running on six characters per week. So, you know, but if I say I see one in two months, but I run on six characters for if you're a single person, that's a year, right? Yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah, that, that that's why I mentioned Sea Slime. Like nobody really likes that boss. But if you want to have somewhat of a reasonable chance of getting a Slime Ring, 
you know, you got a party that wants to do, like, does hard will and then has some, uh, maybe does hard lucid hard will or you have some guild skill skills left, you know, Sea Slime is as annoying as he is, yeah, otherwise you're, you're probably not going to see a ring. It might take a long ass time. You might be too patient for that. Yeah, I, um, I actually really do like Slime as a boss. I think it's really interesting. Mm hmm. Um, and like it's very different from everything else we do in this yep. game. So, um, yeah, the test. I, I is, wouldn't. Uh, yeah. I would. I wouldn't be opposed to like trying sea slime, but it's definitely like with how. Because I think the last time I did slime, I realized after the run, but I accidentally ran it in drop gear, and it took me like seven, maybe six minutes. Mm -hmm. So, like, I kill it fairly quickly. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty even good. Even in drop gear, so. Yes, yeah, so it does like two or like just three bursts, like the yeah, just like the second right after the second test, it kind of just blows up. If but if you're yeah, in uh, in damage gear, you could probably kill it before the end, before the start of the second test. Yeah, I think if I was in damage gear, I would kill it like second burst, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Yep. Because Bowmaster has such an extended burst, it's it's kind of weird like that boss is super nice because you basically get two binds back to back so i can get my oh. entire burst off mm -hmm. yeah and the extra final damage right right during right, right uh, after the test if you do it yeah. well you get the extra final damage yeah i got my i'm just now at the point that like my cannoneer and my adele can kill it before the first test starts like right before that she has some time off but um yeah, I mean, then you're looking like almost being like towards 40k set, right? I got 36, 37, something like that. So that's yeah, still a little so. bit away. Yeah, and I'm like, and I and I enjoy the game for what it is. I don't try to like speed run it. And mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. I think this past like month for me has just been so much small upgrades that I was kind of at a point where I was like, I am on to Arcanes, but mm -hmm. because I've never been to this point before, I don't know what's efficient and I need to be efficient. Yep. Yeah, if you're not, then you will stop feeling like you're actually moving forward, even though you're putting in more time. And that yeah. can that tends to burn people out. Or they do the right things, like they make the right kind of money and they have backups, but then they like start just tapping for twenty twos when everything is seventeen. And then they just blow up all of their money and not hit a twenty two and then get them motiv motivated by that. Whereas Someone else who spends the same money with the same backups could maybe get like eight items to 19, you know, and one item to 20 and then stop there. And then they spent the same amount, but the one person made insane gains and the other person zero just by the strategy yeah. of spending your money. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Was there anything uh, else you had uh, any questions about? No. You don't have a good. heart. Are you planning to buy one from the shop? Um,. I should probably is what I will say. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till the end and see what happens because I think if I, I think if I get an arcane drop in the next few weeks, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna if it's a weapon, I'm gonna upgrade it and and see yep. if I can replace my own. But uh, if not by the end of the event, I will definitely buy one because I have. I mean, I've bought. What have I bought out of? I've bought out of all the nodes. Um, Mm -hmm. I was planning on buying a whole bunch of the symbols. This is from the momentary shop, yep. and that's Meso. But uh, planning on buying nodes because my Asphere node, or not my Asphere, my um, my Moras node is actually the lowest of all of them. So, okay. Um, the the what's now a weekly probably wasn't your favorite thing to do. I'm guessing. No, actually, it's I just had been focused so much, and every time I'd get symbols, I'd, I'd dump them into Esfera. That Esfera is yeah. two levels higher than Moras. That's what it is. And I looked back it, and yeah. I was like, oh, that's not good. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why am I leveling that guy again? It's like, oh, yeah, to, br to bring it up to speed with the one that's two levels lower. Yeah, so every every day I've been doing the uh, the six star, I've been grabbing three symbol selectors and dumping them into Moras, and it's slowly catching up. Slowly catching it up, yeah, I see. So. Okay. Yeah, the EXP coupon um, is nice if you're training, but yeah, of course you have to be able to turn it into. There's such a short duration, so whatever can give yeah. you the value at the point. Yeah, at that point, yeah. Oh, definitely. Uh, so last question then, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. Inner ability. Mm -hmm. I'm currently sitting on five three two five hundred thirty two thousand honorary XP, so a bit different from the uh, picture there. Okay. Uh, I'm waiting for an event. What is the best way to try to get like your second line? Is it roll with Cirques? 
Yeah, so... So usually there's like two stages, I would say two main stages of the interoperability. Well, I guess three. One is just like you have what the fuck ever in there and you don't really care. And then the first thing you actually roll for, what I say, uh, I would say is like a training interoperability. So for most, uh, most people don't have anything they really, really rely on in their interoperability. The characters that do, it's usually either buff duration or attack speed. And those yeah. characters just need to hit that. Preferably hit that with a circulator and then just kind of like lock that during 50% off and roll like anything on line two or three, maybe some mezzo obtain, maybe some drop rate. And then you're just, you have your training inner ability. Uh, and then the next step would be wait until you have like, I would say like a, anywhere from like a mil and a half to two and a half mil, depending on how long it takes you. Usually like around level, you know, 255 to 260 ish. And then really move into a bossing inner ability. Because um, other classes who don't really need those stats, they'll probably have like mezzo obtain and drop rate. The combination, either you know, one top, the other one, epic, or vice versa. Because um, yeah. the main reason is you want to get decent value from your inner ability, but without with spending as little honor exp as possible. Because it's a rare resource, takes a long time to replenish, and it will be expensive to eventually roll your bossing inner ability. But you want drop rate and mezzo obtain so that you can make money, uh, and and basically fund your account to get your bossing mules up and running. And then usually once your main character, you know, gets into like 255 to 260, usually most, uh, your main character, especially if you want to go to Grandis, you're not going to be making that much money anymore training. So the pressure there is off the inner ability a little bit. Plus your total money per week should be coming way more from bossing mules now than from just the one main character, which means yeah. that you will, you will, you know, the value of your current inner ability will just go down. You will have the honor exp at that point and you'll be doing harder and harder bosses where the value of a bossing inner ability will flow to the surface way more so generally the the second move to go to a bossing inner ability would be to use the circulators to try to hit whatever your best in slot unique uh, ability is um and then lock that one in and then roll the, the top line back because the top the with the circulators whatever line it rolls is always the highest number in that tier for that stat and yeah. typically the top line doesn't have as much variance as you know the rest does for you in this situation i'll probably see if there's like a 50 percent off you can see, yeah you can see if you want to lock your boss damage and roll anything on the second and third line because um the, in new age there's going to be quite a quite a shift in interability again in terms of the cost and uh that'll be uh did I say new age? Yeah. Um, so the basically they're getting rid of um, rare interability completely. So no more rare lines, and oh. the, the chance of hitting uh, unique in uh, in legendary is going to go up by fifty percent compared to now. So it should mean that the you know you should need way fewer circulators plus a higher chance of hitting like double uniques uh, with legendary and stuff like that. So. For most people who are trying to make the shift and are thinking about like, do I go from like a mobbing inner ability to a bossing one? Probably best to wait uh, for new age. That should be November 15th. And then um, all of your honor EXP will become worth quite a bit more and you can more easily roll, you know, something sexy there. Okay, gotcha. All, all right. right, thank you very much. Yep, no problem. And I'll uh, see you around in the chat. Absolutely, and I'll see you at Ursus. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Yes, see you there in a bit. All right, good luck with everything. All right, thank you. Bye. Yep, bye bye. Okie dokie. Right. Um, so, yeah, if you're in a similar situation or have questions, when to switch into Arcane's priority, inner ability, stuff like that. Um, yeah, where to spend your money, what to focus on in terms of backups, all that. Hopefully, this video helped you a little bit. Um, and if not, check out one of the other million videos that I have, or come check out the live stream over at twitch.tv slash scarter. All of the commands and all the information that I have are available there. We only looked at one now, but <laughs> I have about 200 more. So there's probably a bunch of topics that you have some questions about, and I might have some YouTube videos or, uh, guides, grids, any kind of resources that I made. And, uh, those are available to everyone. So if you're interested in seeing that. Give it a check. Uh, give it. Give it a check out. Check it out, as a uh, scratchman Apu said. As far as everything else goes, it is now August, so I will be drawing the winner soon from July for all the people who left comments on the sessions for July. 
Uh, and uh, as you guys all know, two of those people will win one of these sessions with me. So if you want to win as well, make sure you start leaving comments that you would like to win. Make sure you add your Discord name so I can reach out to you. Because uh, YouTube comments tend to sometimes get forgotten to check the replies in, I've noticed. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, uh, and if you don't want to wait for that, because you're going to have to wait a whole month, and if you don't get drawn soon, you can also check the description of the video, or you can check uh, Exclamation Mark Coaching in the chat to see how you can get one of these sessions with me. So with that all being said, thank you for checking out the video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video or live on stream.